Hello, and thank you for allowing us to share with you the benefits of Emacs electric tankless water heaters, along with some helpful and important installation instructions. As a professional plumber, you know the difference between doing a job and doing a job well. And quite simply, Emacs electric tankless water heaters will help you meet and exceed expectations on your next job. Whether it's industrial, commercial, or residential, Emacs has the right product at the right price for every job. Emacs electric tankless water heaters offer energy savings of up to 40% plus they're 99% efficient. Add in our wide network of distributors, technical support, and engineering resources, and you'll quickly discover why Emacs should be your only choice when it comes to installing electric tankless water heaters. All Emacs electric tankless water heaters are easy to install and are designed to save energy and water while providing an endless amount of hot water on demand. Emacs is the green alternative you need for your next job. When you open the box, you'll see an installation guide slash owner's manual, a product registration card, product warranty card, and quick connect pipe fitting removal tool used in the event for uninstalling the Home Advantage series water heater. To assure proper warranty coverage, we strongly recommend sending the product registration information directly after the unit is installed. Remove the heater from the shipping box. With a number two Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four black screws and one zinc ground screw located at the bottom right hand corner next to the electrical knockout holes. It's important not to confuse the location of the zinc ground screw when reinstalling the unit cover after installation. Carefully slide the cover off the back plate, exposing the internals of the heater. Do not disconnect, alter, or modify any of the internal electrical or heating components. This will void the warranty and could cause unit failure, personal injury, or property damage. Where you locate the heater is extremely important. The heater should be mounted below the fixture height and below the lowest fixture in the home. This will help prevent air pockets from becoming trapped in the heater chambers. It's also important that the heater is always mounted in the proper direction. Simply place the heater with the Emacs brand logo positioned upright so it can be read. Never install the unit sideways. If you can't install the tankless water heater at or below the lowest point of use in the home, make sure to install a spring-loaded or pop-it style backflow preventer valve on the inlet side of the heater. Since the heater does not require ventilation, you can mount it in tight places such as under vanities or in closets, but make sure the heater is in a location where it's not exposed to freezing temperatures. For greatest efficiency, mount the heater at or near the point of use. Install units so it is very secure to the wall. You may use plywood as a backer. This is also the case when mounting to a cement wall. Always allow 6 to 8 inches of free space above the heater for maintenance access. Emacs strongly recommends installing a ball valve on the inlet and outlet water lines. This will ease installation as well as future maintenance. It's necessary that the water supply line connects to the plumbing fitting on the right side of the heater and the outlet connects to the fitting on the left. The inlet and outlet cannot be reversed. Using the supplied Home Advantage Quick Connect pipe fittings, carefully slide the pipes into the fittings. Make sure the pipes slide at least three quarters of an inch into the fittings to assure a leak-proof seal. For non-home advantage units, NPT or compression fittings will be supplied. It is critical that only Teflon tape is used on the pipe threads versus plumber's putty or pipe dope. Attach the heater back plate to the plywood with 5 8 inch screws. Make certain all electrical power is turned off before installing the unit. Next, insert the electrical cable through the knockout holes on the bottom right side of the back plate. Emacs strongly recommends using an appropriate strain relief or conduit connector to properly fasten the cable to the case. Be sure to securely fasten the earth ground screw directly to the provided area on the bottom side of the back panel. Always follow the installation guide for proper wire gauge sizing. To connect the wires, loosen the slot head terminal screws on the relay blocks. Power leads L1 and L2, typically colored red and black, connect to the appropriate terminals on each relay block. Tighten the terminal screws firmly and assure they are not loose. Prior to activating the electrical circuit, you must purge the heater by slowly supplying water to the unit. Turn on both valves and let the chambers pressurize with water. Inspect the unit for any possible leaks. Before sending any power to the heater, 
It's important to circulate water through the unit by turning on any hot water faucet or shower in the home or building that would receive hot water from the Emax heater. Let the water run for at least two minutes to assure no air pockets are trapped in the heater chambers. If air is caught in the chamber, it's possible the heating element can burn out and fail. Some Emax heaters ship with replacement faucet aerators. If aerators are supplied, please install them now. Now is the time to check your installation for accuracy. Make sure your electrical connections are free of tools and loose wires. Also check one last time for any water leaks. You may now install the outer cover. Be sure you install the cover the same way it came off. All five securing screws are required, and it's essential that the zinc ground screws are installed in the proper location at the bottom right corner next to the electrical knockout holes. The next step is to turn on the electrical supply breakers. Make sure you are using properly rated breakers that are dedicated only to the heater. It's important to note, once again, that you follow all applicable electrical codes. On units that offer an LED temperature display, you may now set your desired output temperature between 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Be very cautious of the temperature setting. Since most heaters can reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit, Emax recommends keeping the temperature setting at or below 120 degrees Fahrenheit, unless the heater is used for dishwashers or commercial sanitary cleaning reasons. Now it's time to turn on the hot water faucet to test for hot water. The distance between the heater and the faucet will determine how long it will take to receive hot water. The Emax electric tankless water heater is now installed and ready to provide on-demand hot water year after year. Outstanding quality and value, ease of installation, unparalleled technical support and engineering resources, these are the hallmarks of Emax, an industry leader in the development of electric tankless water heaters. Be sure to check out the entire line of Emax electric tankless water heaters along with customer case studies at emax.com. Thanks for watching.